Hi everybody, welcome to my video blog. I'm going to talk about stress again. And why do I love this topic so much? Because it's part of our everyday life. And as a person who is passionate about igniting you to live your fullest potential, it involves stress. When we're creating, when we're expanding, when we're growing, it does involve stress. Just think when you go to the gym because you want to change your body. You lift weights, you stress your body. Sometimes you stress your body in pretty high levels, like you deplete yourself a lot in order to create a compensation or adaptation uh, mechanism so you can grow stronger muscles, have a leaner body, lose weight. So you all know well that what good stress is. is that stress that is going to create an outcome that you are looking for, right? So what is a good stress? That good stress is when you work on something meaningful. The good stress transforms you, the stress, good stress sustains you, so you work on your vision, you achieve your goals. So what the, th the theme of this video is really about, it's, it's like the last week's video, right? When I talk about making friends with stress, and this one is using stress to grow, to get stronger, to strengthen your resilience muscle. And I just recently uh, read a great definition of resilience by this psychologist um, that was very active in 1975. And he defines resilience as the courage to grow from stress. So, is there any stress in your life right now? And I want you to ask yourself, is this stress coming from something meaningful? And if it is, great. Continue watching my blogs, learning how you can deepen your ability to handle stress. Because remember, I'm not here or work with my clients to get rid of stress. We can't do that. That's not a realistic goal. But I'm here to teach you and each one of my clients how we deepen our ability to handle stress. So we handle stress, face stress head on with great strength, great courage, and passion. So let's talk a little bit about the bad stress and how can we also use bad stress and kind of transform into a better stress or a stress that's gonna benefit us at least, right? So here I define the bad stress as that it's coming from something that doesn't align with you or your values. You work on something that does, doesn't feel right, but you're in that mode that I have to do it. Just being in a place that you have to do something is stressful enough, right? So something that doesn't align with your values. It's that kind of stress that destroys you. It's that kind of stress that makes you sick, that compromises your well-being and happiness. It's that stress that drains you instead of sustain you. It's that stress that's like, where are you going, right? Like we know the good stress, you work on your vision, your project, a new home, a new business, creating a, you know, a lean body in the gym. But when you work for something that doesn't mean to anything to you, you know, and you end that question, where am I going with this? That's really the, the, the time to draw the line on the paper, on the wall and say, okay, I have to reevaluate this shift things. So how can you use this stress also to transform and strengthen that resilience muscle that I talked a little bit earlier? Well, you ask yourself, what is this situation helping you? How is the situation help you, helping you to become a better person, a stronger person? What qualities is this stress challenging you? Your, your patience, your faith, your compassion, your empathy. So go to that place that you improve, that you transform this situation into something that actually is meaningful to you. So even if you're going through something that you know is a stress that's not benefiting you, how can you still find the benefit? How can you grow from that stressful situation and maybe transform this bad stress into a stress that's going to benefit you and hopefully give you the stamina, give you the clarity or creativity to eliminate, give you the courage to make a change in your life and actually not have this bad stress and just have good positive stress in your life that is going to push you forward, that's going to move the needle for you. 
So that's my message for today. You know, it's really about stopping, just like last week, like just stop, grab a piece of paper and acknowledge your stress. You can't ignore, you can deny, you can't get rid of it. Courage really, it's a place of like facing a situation, a stressful situation or person head on. And when I say head on, I'm not saying come with conflict, with aggression. Just head on in terms of like, wow, I acknowledge your stress. I know what's coming from. I understand what's coming from. And what is my part? What is your part in this stress? And how can you transform this stressful situation into something that actually is going to make you better? And again, making that resilience muscle stronger. That's my message for today. And if you want to learn more about how to deepen your ability to handle stress, just go back to a lot of my video blogs. I'll put a link on my video blog that I believe I made two weeks ago about the checklist, water, food, thoughts, all those things are part of making you, making us a warrior, the gentle warrior that can handle stress with grace, with love, with compassion and empathy. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to share something else next Wednesday with you. Have a great week.